India is a project is a public permission blockchain. And the thing is, it's focused on identity and identity use cases. Uh, the contributors to India are worried about what's called self-sovereign identity, which is a privacy preserving approach to transferring credentials, transferring uh, provable statements about uh, a person uh, between an issuer, a holder, and a verifier. Let's be a bit more specific about how this works. So when you're trying to exchange a credential, you've got an agent that represents you and you play one of three roles. You're the issuer, the person who's going to claim something about a third party. You're the holder, the person who's holding the claim uh, and wants to be trusted, or you're a verifier. The verifier does not trust the holder, but the verifier does trust the issuer. So when the issuer gives the holder this claim, uh, the credential, the holder can then give the credential to the verifier. The verifier can check the ledger and see that the, pu that the public key is correct and is signed with the correct private key and therefore knows that the holder didn't manipulate it and that the issuer does stand by what they're asserting about the holder. It's very flexible to adapt Indy for the governance policies you want for your network. So if you're on a network where, where you want to make sure that every uh, in every transaction author uh, is endorsed. You know, Indy supports that. If it's a third party endorsement to avoid spam or abuse. Uh, you can also say, hey, a new endorser requires three signatures from stewards or two signatures from trustees. Now, that kind of process makes it really easy to adapt Indy to your, your ledger use case. Uh, so we have this site. Uh, understand this is a developer machine. Try to connect on, uh, try Connect on me. Connect on me is Evernim's uh, mobile wallet that people can use. And here I'm sharing my screen. I've just got a fresh install. I'm going to hit the setup button, you know, and I'm going to put in a really super secure passcode. And I'm not going to worry about biometrics for this use case. Uh, I accept the Evernim license agreement, and we come in. Uh, now there's a scan button. So I come here, and uh, I've got uh, various organizations I can interact with. Let's, uh, let's say I've got a job at Suncrest Medical, so I need to get my staff passport. So when I take a picture of this, a QR code comes up, I come back to my mobile device and take the picture. I just realized I can't take the picture while you're seeing me take the picture. Let me do that. Okay, so that cam comes in. So now I've got a connection, an Aries connection with Suncrest Medical. Uh, we also communicate on Hyperledger Rocket Chat. Hope to see you there. Uh, there's a process for suggesting improvements. You can get the source code.